was fat. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to Tuneful TV. I am Natalia Anderson and I'm here, as you know, to review episode three of The Voice UK 2015. Okay, so let's get uh, down to it. The shout out. Shout out to Catherine. Shout out to Jane. Shout out to Will Alexander. Shout out to two contestants of The Voice who came by the channel. Thank you for stopping by. Shout out to Classical Reflection and to Shelly Ann. Hi! Josh McDonough. My face above the water. So cute. My feet can touch the ground, touch the ground, and it feels like. Okay, the problem is he just seems really untrained he's actually got a very very good voice but he's just not confidently hitting the notes otty warman otty and he was such a nice guy <laughs> not easy to do because he had a wobbly start and he got stronger towards the end but it was just a bad song choice Otty! Otty's got a really good voice but this isn't the song to sing on an audition like this when you have to really make an impact and you've got to be so precise and perfect. Shirley Marie when you have a voice that is very similar to somebody else, you want to use your voice to sing another song. And then we won't be, you know, just comparing all the time. Nerves. Just when I began to get myself to So cute though. voice. I hope she can get some gigs out of this and, and, and go around singing in places. James Duke. Oh, twin. Twinsies. They didn't want to do a reflection thing. <laughs> they didn't want to do a folk reflection or a rock reflection. James, James, James. Look, I know, I know, I know, James, I know. I thought it was going to be Food Fighters for a second, but it wasn't. He's not confident. Yeah, twig because the guy's standing right there. <laughs> I don't think he stood up for anyone else. <laughs> on a show like this so good James big up for that mashup okay that was really clever really good so there was just some issues with like breathing just wasn't enough power so all James has to do is practice singing from like the diaphragm do those diaphragm techniques and push it out there's reasons why rock people can sing like that because they're not using their throat they're singing from down there and they're pushing out the power that's where the power comes from so that's all that james needs to do because his voice wasn't that bad dean michael i never knew the name of that band but i know obviously superman is the big tune gonna wait to jump on a chair and then jump up and go superman <laughs> british institution so good on him He's not got a bad voice and his voice actually lends itself to that sort of style of music. I don't think he was trying to say that Black Lace wasn't good enough or anything like that. You know, he could do what he wants and he was actually really good and I liked his spirit. I mean, the BBC really rinsed in that whole Agadoo thing and like, come on, he, not that he wants to put it to bed, but you know, 
give him a chance to show another side of him. Some people are actually multifaceted. Some people have different sides to them. And he wants to show, hello, he wants to show another side of himself, which is fine. I've got to turn the heating off. So hot in here! Abe, Abe. Daniel Duke. got a lot of control it's, it's dynamic he's not just singing on the same level so when he entered into the chorus it's really soft but then he gradually gave more power but still maintaining that vulnerability of the overall tone of the song which is great that was a brilliant brilliant audition talking of near perfect auditions okay Emmanuel smashed it yes your buttons. I can't believe it, can't believe it, oh my god. So many things people! At the very least, four chairs should have turned for his perfect audition. Flawless. There was nothing wrong with that. Okay? Tom Jones said afterwards he didn't realise the song was finishing when it did. To his defence, this performance, it kind of glided to an end um, without having the spectacular like razzle dazzle thing at the end. So, okay, fair enough. Alright, fine, I'll give that to you. But come on, Rita, you're saying he's really good. Turn! Will had that facial expression turn and Ricky well done okay Ricky has just you know 10 points to Gryffindor okay you've just earned yourself 10 points right so now you're back up to about zero <laughs> Esme every time I hear the name Esme I always think of Twilight <laughs> Esme and Renesme <laughs> I wasn't familiar with Esme Denter's music. Brilliant start. And right here I was like, calm down, don't lose it. Don't lose it trying to do the riffs. Oh my god, for a moment I thought they weren't going to turn for her and I would have been really gutted about that. She was very good. There were just parts of her performance that I was just thinking, strip it back, don't go over the top. It really is about the, the melody is so beautiful. So when you do too many riffs and stuff, you kind of take away from what makes the song so amazing. But thankfully, they turned around and they recognised her, they recognised her voice. And I think it's brilliant that she is on this show. Joe Wolford. Brilliant song choice. Brilliant song choice. And he's confident, you know. He's he's just so great. A beautiful tone. Really exciting to watch and well done lisa jones oh my god girl girlfriend ticket home you know what 
This girl just smashed it. Nailed it! Control girlfriend. Brilliant performance. Oh my goodness, that was on point in every level. And I'm so happy she went with Rita. She could learn a lot from Rita, and Rita could give her just that unique perspective of what it takes to be a female pop star in this day and age. She's very excited about her. She's gonna be one to watch. I hope she goes really far. Last but not least, Stephanie Webber. I really like her voice. She's got some like husky tone to it at points, and it's really lovely to listen to. Uh, great song choice, nice and upbeat. Very well done to Stephanie Weber. And that is it, everybody. Look, my arms look so long. <laughs> Okay, that's it for this week, everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in again to watch my review of episode three of The Voice UK. I'm going to be back again next week and hopefully the video will be up on Monday because remember I said videos every Monday except for this week because I had a birthday. Yeah. Remember to click here to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss out when I upload a video. We don't want you missing out on that great event. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, which is at TunefulTV, and I'll be tweeting, live tweeting to the um, episode next week. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook, and both of the handles are TunefulTV, so you can catch me there as well. See you next week, bye. <laughs>